In this tutorial, I want to show you how to make the two-in-one elegant crochet headband. If you prefer to have the written pattern, you will find it in the description box below. To make this headband, you will need the following items. You will need your selective yarn. I have chosen Moda Vera in colors grey and baby pink. This is 8 ply and it has 95% premium acrylic and 5% polyester. You'll also need your hook, mine is G hook. You'll also need your measuring tape, your scissors, stitch markers, two buttons, each being 2.5 centimeters, and a needle. I'd also like to mention that for this pattern, we will be using US crochet terms. If for some reason you'll want to use a different yarn, feel free to do so. Just make sure that your yarn is soft, has some drape to it, is easy to work with, and requires a 4mm crochet hook. Round 1. In this round, we will be using our G hook and our yarn, and we will start by making a slip knot. So take your yarn, wrap around your finger once, twice, and then just pull. Just like that, that's your slip knot. And now we're gonna go ahead and make 15 chains. One, two, three, and continue to make 15 chains in total. So now that you have made 15 chains, just keep in mind that this does not count so your last stitch should be right this one right that one okay now we'll go ahead and do round two in round two we'll start by making one double crochet into the second stitch from the hook so this is the first stitch and we will do one double crochet into the second one into this one so Yarn over once, search your hook into the second stitch, pull through once, pull through twice. And now we will continue and make one double crochet in the remaining stitches. I'll demonstrate that again. my second stitch and continue to make one double crochet in the remaining stitches there you go that's how it should look now the next step we will have to chain one and turn your work now in round three we will need to make one double crochet in every sting single stitch starting with the first stitch from the hook so this is your first stitch so I'll make one double crochet into that first stitch and then one double crochet into the remaining stitches so this is my second one my 
mijn hart. And continue to do one double crochet in the remaining stitches. Now that you have finished round three, it should look like this. Go ahead and chain one, turn your work again, and in the fourth round, we will do the same thing as we have done in round three. So again, chain one, I mean yarn over your hook, and in the first stitch, which is just there, insert your hook, pull through once, pull through twice, and now continue to do one double crochet in each stitch till the end. So again, my second stitch, and do one double crochet in the remaining stitches. Once you have finished that, your work should look like this. Again, we're gonna go ahead and we will do round five. So in round five, chain one, turn your work. Now in this round, we're gonna start making the design of the pattern. So again, we're gonna start by making one double crochet into the first stitch, which is just that one. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into four stitches so one two three four in total five stitches my next stitch two three and five just like that so you should you should have five double crochet next we want to skip two stitches so skip one and two and we want to make one triple crochet into this stitch so skip two so skip one two and into the third stitch make one triple crochet so yarn over once yarn over twice and insert your hook into the third stitch so skip one two to the third stitch pull the yarn through at once, twice, and three times, just like that. And now make another one triple crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over once, yarn over twice, the next stitch, pull through once, twice, and three times. Just like that. Now go back to the two stitches that you've missed. So this one and this one. And make one triple crochet in each one of them. Starting with the first one that you skipped. Which was that one. This is the first one. So insert your hook. And just pull it through the... Wait, let me that again so insert your hook pull it through like this grab the yarn pull it through 
up metro once, twice, and three times, and then in this other stitch, which is just the one, make one triple crochet. So yarn over twice, search your hook, and then bring it. Bring it through just like that. Then once, twice, and three times. Just like this. And now make one double crochet in the remaining five stitches. Next one that you're working is not this one, because you can see this has been worked in, so it's this one. So yarn over once, search a hook, so one, two, and make another one double crochet, one here, 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 and here. So one double crochet in the remaining four stitches. So your work should look like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and make round six. Chain one, turn your work. In this round, again, we're gonna make one double crochet into the five, six, five stitches, starting with this first stitch just right there. Just like that and then one double crochet into the next four stitches now that we have done one double crochet into the first five stitches we now gonna go ahead and work a back post triple crochet in the next two stitches so the back ones are here this one and this one so we'll work one triple crochet into this and this back post. So yarn over twice, slightly turn your work, search your hook under the first back post, pull the yarn through, pull through once, twice, and three times. And then we're gonna go ahead and make another triple crochet into this back post. So again, yarn over once, yarn over twice, and just insert the hook under there, just like that. And then pull the yarn, grab the yarn, pull it through, pull through once, twice and three times okay just like that now you want to come to the front and work one triple crochet into those two front posts one and two so again yarn over once yarn over twice slightly turn your work and in, insert your hook through this space bring it at the front and Insert the hook like this, okay? Then pull the yarn one, two, and three, and we'll do again another one into this at the front post. And now go ahead and make one double crochet in the remaining five stitches, starting with this stitch. So with this one in line with the other ones, okay? So not on to this one, but in this one. So yarn over once, insert your hook, and make one double crochet, and then one double crochet in the remaining four stitches. 
So your work should look like this from the back and from the front it should look like this. You can see it takes shape. So in order to be able to tell the difference between front and back, what I advise you to do, just take a stitch marker. So let's just take one now. So I'll just take a stitch marker. And in the back of your work, just insert it just down here. That way it will be very easy for you to tell that this is the back because you have the stitch mark attached to it. And this one is the front. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the next round. And in order to do that, we have to chain one and turn our work. For this round, again, we're going to do one double crochet in the next five stitches, starting with the first stitch from the hook, which is just here. So, again, yarn over once, insert the hook into the first stitch, and make one double crochet in the next four stitches. This is my second one. And then one double crochet, the remaining in the next three stitches. Once you have done that, you want to skip the next two stitches, so one and two, and into those two front paws, so this one and this one, we want to work a triple crochet in each one of them, starting with this one. So skip those two, one and two, and into the third front post, work a triple crochet. So yarn over once, yarn over twice, insert the hook just under the front post, just like that, and then pull the yarn, pull it once, pull it twice, and pull it three times. Then again, make a triple crochet under this front post. So yarn over once, twice, insert a hook just like this. Pull the yarn through, pull through once, twice, and three times, just like that. Now, you want to go back to the two posts that you skipped, so this one and this one, and we'll make one triple crochet in both of them, starting with the first one. So yarn over once, yarn over twice, insert the hook under just like that and pull the yarn pull through once pull two twice and three times and then to get to the next post sometimes you'll feel like you'll have to pull this aside to reveal the other post so again yarn over once yarn over twice Insert the hook under the front post, pull the yarn through, and then pull through once, pull through twice, pull through three times. There you go, and you can see the design taking shape. Now we will go ahead and make one double crochet into the remaining five stitches. Just don't work into this okay next is this stitch so yarn over once not onto this one that's been worked in but into this one search a hook pull one and twice and make one double crochet into the remaining four stitches one here one here one here and one here now, as you can see, the design is taking shape. This is the front of your work, and where you have the stitch marker, it's the back. So, what you need to do next 
you have to chain one and then turn your work and you'll be facing the back so you'll have to do the one double crochet into the next five stitches one triple crochet into those two posts starting with this one then this one and then one triple crochet into this one and this one and then five double crochet in each of the five I mean one double crochet in each of the five remaining stitches so next you will need to continue to repeat round six and round seven till you reach the desired length always chain one and turn your work and then repeat round six and seven so next you'll have to as i said chain one turn your work and then do the uh, do round six and then when you face the front you have to obviously skip two stitches and do one triple crochet under this post and then one triple crochet under this post and then go back to the two stitches that you skipped and do one triple crochet under one post and then under the following post keep in mind that at all time you should have five double crochet into this side and five double crochet onto this side so continue to repeat this pattern till you reach the desired length once you have reached the desired length your headband should look something like this this is the the front of the headband okay that's the front and that's the back Okay, so now, now that you have reached the desired length, we can go ahead and make the buttonholes or the buttons. Also, make sure that before you go ahead and make the buttonholes, make sure that the last row that you have worked is the row with the back, okay? Because next we will have to work on the right side of the headband where we will start making the buttonholes again chain one and turn your work so next we will have to do the following okay in this round which is round eight we will have to make one double crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch so yarn over once, this is my first stitch. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. Next we want to chain two, one, two. And we want to skip two stitches, so skip this one and this one and work one double crochet into this stitch so skip two and work one double crochet into the third stitch that's your buttonhole we are facing the work facing us so we'll do one triple crochet into this and then into this as remember this is the right side of your work and always you start by skipping two and work one triple crochet into the third and then into the fourth post so yarn over twice search your hook pull through once twice and three times and again second post Go back to the 
two pulls that you skipped this one and that one starting with this one make a triple crochet search a hook under and one more into the last one just like that and now we're gonna go ahead and make one double crochet into the next stitch which is just this one in line with all the other ones not this one so one double crochet into that stitch next we want to chain two one two skip two stitches so skip this one and this one and into the third stitch which is this one work another one double crochet so skip two stitches and into the third stitch work one double crochet that's our buttonhole then one double crochet into the last stitch just like that you can see your buttonholes now go ahead and let's finish off the headband so chain one turn and in this last row which is round nine we're gonna make one double crochet into the next five stitches starting with the first stitch right there Second one, and then one double crochet into the remaining three. So one here, one here, and one here, just like that. So five double crochets. Now we are facing the work. This is the back, so we have to work one triple crochet into those two back posts the other over once the other over twice search a hook just under pull it through once twice three times and again the other over twice just under that post pull the yarn through so once twice and three times and now we're gonna work one triple crochet into the front post so one here and one there yarn over twice search a hook through this space so you can get to the front post just like this Pull through once, twice, and three times. Again, yarn over tw twice. Insert your hook. Put your hook through that space. So, so you can get to this post. Just like that. Pull through. Pull through once, pull through twice, pull through three times, and then one double crochet into the remaining five stitches, starting with this one. Not with this one, but this one. So yarn over once, and then one double crochet into the remaining four stitches. So one here, one, two, three, and four. There you go. That's from the back. And that's your work from the front. So now we finished. Pull the yarn through. And grab your 
grab your scissors just cut the yarn and just pull it through and we have finished the length of the headband now that we have finished the length of our headband what we want to do we want to do the following I chose to make the edge of the headband with a different color this is gray so we're gonna take our headband and make one double crochet in each stitch starting from this corner all the way this way and then coming up up this way and then this way and then this way so in other words you make one double crochet around the entire headband okay so in order to do that insert your yarn or your hook into the first stitch so just there grab the the gray yarn pull it through and then just chain one like that and then use those to tighten it up just like this so chain one and now what you wanna do make one double crochet in each stitch starting with this next stitch so yarn over once search a hook into the stitch pull through pull through once pull through twice again yarn over once pull through once pull through two times and continue to make that all the way around so that's how it should look I also like to mention that make sure you start your edge with the right sides facing up and not the wrong side i also like to demonstrate how to do this when uh, you get to the corner so this is my last stitch just in there so just insert your hook okay so that was my last stitch now the corner is very simple, you just yarn over again and insert the next stitch right next to it. So this is the last stitch that I worked, now I'm going to insert it into this stitch, just like that. And continue to do one double crochet into each stitch. Next one is just this one. Then is this one, there you go, so the corners are pretty simple, you just continue to do one double crochet in every single stitch all around your entire headband, finishing into the, into here, into the last stitch over here so I finished the edge my cowl and I just wanted to show you right before you cut off the yarn you just want to insert the hook into this top of the first stitch so I'm just here finished just gonna insert the hook just there on top pull the yarn through pull it through so just make like a 
slip stitch and then just pull the yarn grab your scissors just cut it and now just pull it through there you go so I finished making the edge on my cowl now that you finished you can leave it like this and not do anything else all you have to do is just waving the ends and sew in your buttons just like that but by doing this this will only give you one uh, headband while i want to teach you another option which will show you how you can have and wear this headband two different ways so this is one way that you could wear it just like this and now i'll demonstrate how to wear it in a different style so in order to have another way another option with this headband you need to do the following so take yarn so i'm choosing the gray yarn make a slip knot just like that search your hook and now um, chain five so one two three four and five just like that next yarn over your hook once and insert your hook into the second stitch so this is my first so into the second stitch from the hook insert your yarn your hook i mean and then pull through once and pull through twice and make one double crochet into the remaining three stitches so one here one here and one there so this is my second stitch once you have done that chain one and turn your work and then do one double crochet on each four stitches so starting with the first stitch from the hook so just here so there is one another double crochet in the next stitch two three and into the last stitch another double crochet so just like that and continue to do this for another seven rows so next you'll you'll continue to repeat the following so chain one turn your work and do one double crochet in each stitch starting with the first stitch from the hook which is just there so one two and three and four so continue to chain one turn your work and one double crochet in each stitch for seven more rows once you have done your seven rows your work should look like this then you want to bring the other side so again make sure that the side you bring so don't bring it from this side go this way and pull it like this okay just like that and insert your hook into this first gap so just uh, your first stitch and then take the yarn and just so you can see that and just pull it through like that and then chain one and then do the same go into the next stitch then into the next stitch of the other side pull the yarn through and chain one and do the same the next 
stitches just one there and one more here and then the yarn take your scissors and then pull through I like to actually make a knot right here at the end just so that it doesn't come apart now turn it so the work from this side it's hidden just like that and take this small piece take your headband also so take the headband pull it in like this and then like that so fold it in half and then bring this side up and this side up make sure you have it on the right side facing you grab the work that you have finished insert through and then pull this through all the way till it reaches the middle side of your headband so keep bringing it up till it reaches the center of your headband and then make sure that those are nice and centered bring this make sure it's not folded in and just make sure he sits something like this so this is one way that you can wear it and i'll show you the next step that you need to do to be able to make it to be able to wear this headband in two different styles so this is one style just like that then get your headband of course waving your ends and all of that And then have your buttons sewn in like this. So as you can see, once you weave in your ends, have your buttons sew in, you can wear the headband like this, facing this way. And if you turn it on the other side and center the bow, like this you can wear it this way and the buttons when you wear it like this the buttons will be at the back of your head so there you go finish waving in your ends so in the buttons and then decide which side you like to wear it as a bow or with the two buttons so hope you enjoyed this tutorial hope you had fun making this twin one elegant crochet headband and thanks again for watching see you some other time bye bye